God damn, that is the fight. It's almost like I wish Lomachenko was taller. She was a bigger <laughs> fighter, you know, like because Lomachenko versus Crawford was really the fight that I would want to see. Because those, I mean, I believe Errol Spence Jr. is right there with them. He's, he's a phenomenal fighter, particularly what he did with um, Garcia. But Lomachenko and Terrence Crawford are two masters. When I look at them in terms of what they do to their opponents, they're the two. No, Lomachenko with that crazy movement and footwork. It's but. Terrence Crawford just figures people out. He finds a way. He switches stances. He'll start out southpaw or start out orthodox, then they'll switch up on you, start boxing you yeah. up. He puts all the data into that computer and then starts finding your weaknesses, and then he gets nasty with you. And I love the... I mean, one of the things I like about him is how fucking mean he is. Like, you know, there's <laughs> and a, he's another guy who's like a sweetheart. The nicest outside. guy. I mean, I've like, had him in here. Incredible. I've had him in here. He was great. Yeah. He was a great podcast guest. But once he starts putting it on dudes, man, there's like a meanness to him, you know? It's like you, you see he relishes in it. When the dudes go down, he gets a kick out of it, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's that killer instinct. Oh, But these legit. fights, there's no replacement for them. You can see Terrence in a great fight. You can see Lomachenko in a great fight, Spence in a great fight. But if they're not fighting each other, right, we right, just right. won't know. Because once you get to an elite level, yeah. everybody's so good. You can't say you know how this is going to turn right, out. Right, right, right. So Lomachenko's too small. I mean, I don't think he's ever going to fight Terrence. I mean, there was a time when the Mikey Garcia fight could have happened with Lomachenko yeah. at 35. I don't think he should ever fight at 40 or above. I think mean, he'd say that same. But when you see what Mikey Garcia would happen to him when he went up against Errol Spence, you, you see, oh, God, Errol's just way bigger and stronger and better. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's just a 147-pound division. Yeah, and he's jacked. Errol Spence is just jacked at 47, like ripped and shredded and... In, at the weigh-in, when I looked at two of them, I was like, "Wow, that's a that's a difference." Right, that's well, a difference there. Again, by the time fight night is if fight nights on, fight in the middle way. Earl's yeah, Earl's even bigger. I think um, him and hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he's okay. And he said he's getting back to the gym and getting back yeah. after it. Him and Terrence is the fight. That is the fight. It's a fight, and that it's gotta happen. Fight. It's gotta happen. And no, neither one of them fighting anybody else will tell us more about right. what's gonna happen when they right. fight each other. 